My Sunday school teacher wants us to write a paper called What It Means to Be a Child of God. If we turn it in this Sunday, we get a candy bar. So I have to finish it soon. How's it coming along? Not very well. I know that a person becomes God's child when they accept Jesus as their savior, but after that, I don't know what to say. Wow, that's a problem. Do you think you can help me? I'll try. Thanks. One thing that comes to my mind is that whenever I'm sad, my dad is there to comfort me. I can climb to his left and tell him what's wrong. Yeah, my dad does that too. If my earthly father is caring and understanding, don't you think that God is even more caring to his own children? Of course. Then Christians should never hesitate to tell God, their heavenly father, what's wrong going what's going on in their lives. Like a parent, he will give them love and comfort their need. Wow. I never thought of that. What else can I write? Let's see. Mm, have you ever made your parents upset? Me? Never. Joe? <laughs> All right. I guess once or twice. <clears throat> Were you afraid that they didn't love you anymore? That they didn't want to be your? That they didn't want you to be their son? Of course not. Why not? Well. They're my parents. They always love me, no matter what I do. And nothing can ever stop me from being their son. That's right. And it's just the same with God. Once somebody is his child, they'll always be his child. What about, but what about the people when they sin? Some people are afraid that they can lose their salvation. But that's not what the Bible says. John 10, 27 to 29 says, My sheep shall hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give eternal life to them, and they shall never perish, and no one shall never snatch them out of my hands. My Father who gives them me, get them to me, is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of my Father's hand. So when a Christian sins, their fellowship with God is broken, but they're still his child, and he's always forgiven people when they confess their sins. He loves them unconditionally. Wait, wait, let me write this down. He loves them on, on what? Unconditionally. That means that whenever they do something that Jesus don't like, he still loves them. Hey, that's pretty cool. Any other ideas? Hmm. Do you think that you look like your parents? Well, I have my mother's hair brown. And whenever my grandmother comes, she says I look more like my dad every day. Some Christians are God kids. Shouldn't they look like more like him every day? But aren't Christians adopted? I mean, they were always God's children. They became children of God. That's a good point. But look at my little sister. She's adopted, but she acts like my mom. And that's because she spent so much time with her. Don't tell me. If people spend time with God, they'll start to act more like him? Hey, you're catching on quick. Is there anything else? As a matter of fact, there is. Nobody in the Old Testament called God Father. That's a privilege that believers today have only because of Jesus. Wow. Jesus is so awesome. He sure is. Let me see here. Is that everything? I'm sure there's a lot more about God that I don't know, but this is it for now. I guess I'm done here. Oh, wait. I thought of something. You did it. Impossible. No, I really did. What, what did you think of? What did you, did you think of? When I was at the store, the stranger came up to me. She said, hey, are you Larry Miller's son? I said, yes. How did you know? She replied, because you look like him. Yeah? Well, I was thinking, would it be cool if a Christian at the store and a complete stranger could tell that they were God's child just because they acted so much like Jesus? Hey, that would be cool. If Christians spent time with God, they would look more like him and people around them would see a 
difference. That's the perfect ending for my story. I'm sure I'll get it done on time now and get that candy bar. Thanks for all your help, Ashley. I couldn't have done without you. Does that mean I get a part of that candy bar, Joe? Joe? Joe Miller, come back here! <laughs> now, I'm going to ask you guys a question. I wanted to see 